Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are here for One Punch Man Season 2 OVAs 5 and 6. These are the final two. I've watched 1 through 4 just now. Um, 4 was really good. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, if, you, if you happen to not watch the other ones and you're watching these two for whatever reason, uh, I am doing two OVAs in one video. I am going to format my videos like all my other videos, so I'll do a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown. We'll watch the whole thing together. You guys have your own copy, the same way it always works. And then I'll finish it. The I'll finish episode five and, or OVA five, and then I'll talk about it a little bit. And then I'll do another five, four, three, two, one, go countdown. And then we will start on to OVA six and watch that, talk about it a little bit, and then end the video. So um, just in case you guys are a little confused, because I don't always do these two episodes in one, but they're twelve minutes each, so I figured pop them in a that way I can just make three videos rather than making, like, six videos, which sounds pretty crazy. That's, like, half the damn season of the show, right? So, uh, so yeah. Um, without further ado, I say we just start, shall we? All right, we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. Oh, no. I just saw the title, Furry Furry Prisoner. Here we go. It's going to be one of these. I hope y'all are ready for some man buns. TV man. Oh my god. What do you think he's called? The TV guy. Probably just like electric TV, <laughs> knowing this show. So big. Jeez. He just can escape whenever he wants. Do they just stay? Alright, well shit. Just pray, pray, prisoner. The boss. He just breaks out of jail, beats a hero, goes back. Uh oh. Not the electrical. Oh. The alarms are off. Uh oh. Oh my god! They started shooting! They didn't even leave yet. <clears throat> That's crazy. Ten. Pretty boy. Oh no! Must protect his job. Excuse me, sorry about that. I don't know why my voice is like getting all choppy though.
Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! Is he naked yet? No, he's not. Oh! I'd rather just stay in jail. Oh, speed of sound, Sonic. <laughs> Little Sonic. I hate, like, I escaped using your huge hole. I just have a dirty mind. I like how he probably could break the thing around his leg, but he just leaves it there. The old ball and chain. They're just like so disturbed by being hugged and kissed by Prairie Prairie Prisoner that they just become disheveled. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're lair. Do you have eyes on it? Oh, never mind. I thought that was like a fat belly with eyes. It's the Monster Ink Salamander. Oh my god, it's a Demon Slayer reference, but. Probably not, because Demon Slayer came out after. There's been a couple of characters that look like Demon Slayer characters. I wonder if this... I doubt it. Like, that. that's eerily similar to... So I wonder if the Demon Slayer manga came out before this. Oh no. This transformation is just him getting naked, isn't it? <laughs> I love the English. Oh my god. A very dark shadow in the place that none of us want to have to see. Oh! Can you imagine a naked guy just, like, putting you in, like, a leg lock like that? That would be so disturbing. Oh my god, the light. <laughs> the way that the guy's head moved perfectly to block it. And... Deep kisses. This guy's still moving.
<laughs> this guy is <laughs> crying. Oh, he's gonna inspire the prisoners. <laughs> I'd cry too. You can do it, monster! Garo shows up. Yeah, monster, go! Oh, well. What a ridiculous character. But I actually love it. It's so weird. And it's so great. Alright. And there it is. A Pretty Pretty Prisoner OVA. Of him just doing what Pretty Pretty Prisoner does. Escaping from prison and then accidentally making it so people can get out and then getting them back. I like how he's a walking contradiction where he just like, he escapes from prison to go and like, fight guys and he probably like, maybe he goes back like voluntarily after, but yet like, even though he will escape, he won't let other people escape, he'll go after him and stuff, so. Oh man. I love how they just started rooting for the monster, too. It would have been really funny if Garo just showed up and was like, Ah, oh, yeah, like-minded individuals. I, too, root for monsters. Oh, man. I mean, other than it just being, like, a, a very interesting and, and weird episode, I don't think there's much more for me to, uh, to say. We'll finish watching the outro just because we... We watched all the other ones, but we'll probably be moving very quickly here into the uh, the final one. Do, 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 do. But man, like, I just can't imagine fighting someone naked. Like, I feel like that's the best strat. If you want to, like, win a fight, just get naked and uh, people will feel so awkward that they just won't fight. Uh, that's it for episode 5, for OVA 5. Oh, man. My dog's making some weird noises. Hey, are you okay over there, honey? Sweetie, what are you doing? You okay? Alright, I think she's okay. Let's get the final OVA ready here. Get this up and running. Get the subtitles up. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty, guys, so let's get started with the final one, OVA 6, here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. <laughs> it's Zombie Man! We saw him, like, once. I want to see what he's capable of. I'm excited for this one already, if we get to see what he can do. Hey, so Thomas here. This guy. He was like, his name was like Shiny Shine or something, wasn't it? I think I have it in my notes. Oh no, a gruesome tragedy. The murder case! Flashy Flash, that's what it was. Not Shiny Shine, Flashy Flash. <laughs> That wasn't Sonic, was it? Oh, it is. Okay. I thought that silhouette looked kind of like him. <clears throat> oh my god. Jeez. 
Shit. <laughs> Faintest sound, Sonic. <laughs> Keep them open warm, get them a hot chocolate towel. <laughs> All right. Just zombie zombie man sitting there drinking some alcohol. Oh my god. This guy. Just doing squats. Always. Protecting him. Of course he broke out. <laughs> oh my god! Just firing an explosive cannon under the floor. Jesus. Oh my god. That's the end to that. Oh my god, what is going on? What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, did the murder happen? Who got murdered? It's all heroes here, right? Oh, Z Zombie Man. He's just gonna stand up at the end of the episode because he's Zombie Man, isn't he? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, okay, yep. I thought it was going to be the end of the episode, but. Uh. Uh. Was there a gas leak? Speed of sound. Uh oh. We got ourselves a mystery, folks. <laughs> yep. Exceeded ten. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> what a line. <laughs> uh, I was doing squats while nuking chicken tenders. Yeah, I was gonna say, there was one person missing. Torture. Oh, identified. Okay. So not a monster that... Yeah. No sh- yep. So what is it? Ooh. <laughs> so there's no murder. <laughs> See, that's what I thought. We saw the lit the lighter light, and then the explosion happened. So I assumed it was something that. Cause the lighter to make it explode. Oh, well, and here it is. Oh, you poor thing. I look like a dude in a suit. Just like a million S classes in Saitama. <laughs> is that like the why the air was so dry and stagnant is because of like all the heaters and him doing that is that why they said he's a co-conspirator <laughs> all right that was that was silly but fun i love me a good little like murder mystery i i really like didn't know well I guess I did, but then I doubted myself because they were like, oh, someone did it. And I was like, oh, okay, they're telling me that someone did it, so someone must have done it, right? Uh, so I was, like, debated in that regard. Because my first thought was when he lit it, I was like, I said, like, gas explosion or something? Did, like, someone trigger a gas leak so that way when they... And then, like... Because that, that could have been what happened is someone triggered, like, a gas leak... And then you shut the power off and hope that someone lights a, a lighter and gets them to do it themselves kind of thing. And then it just looks like an accident or something. But, uh... But, yeah, then they were like, oh, no, it was someone that did this. Someone's a, a monster controlled, controlled by a monster or transformed or whatever. But, nope. Nope. It was my original thought. But it was still fun. Um... I love that Saitama's sneezes are so strong that they can just, like, break windows and everything. <laughs> oh, man. 
I wish we got to see what Zombie Man can do, but apparently he can, like, blow up and survive it. So did he just happen to survive it, or does he actually have the ability to, like, die and come back to life? Oh, I want to learn more about Zombie Man. Hopefully in Season 3 we learn. But, uh, but yeah, that is it, guys, for OVA 6. Yeah, so, I mean, going over kind of all of them together, definitely I think the VR fighting tournament was my favorite just because story-wise... Wow, my voice. Listen, guys. Waha! Excuse me, sorry. Um, Story-wise, getting to see Sudu versus uh, Garo when that's, like, what Sudu wanted the most was just really cool. I like that that, like, fit in with the story and everything. And then, like, I think their little hand-to-hand -hand that we got was, like, really good. I'm not gonna say it's the best. There were a lot of good fights, or a lot of good fights in Season 2 that could have been a little better with better animation. I feel like that one was probably on par with some of them. I did, like, jump the gun and say that it might have been my favorite one in the moment, but actually thinking about some of the other fights now and everything, I, I don't think it's my favorite fight, but it, it was good. I did enjoy it, so props to them on, on that one. Like, sure, it could have been better, but for an OBA, I guess. Like, if that was a fight that happened in episode and that's what we got, I would have been like, okay, I wish we got a little bit something more, you know? But the fact that we got it in an OVA was, like, enough for me to be like, oh, that was good, you know? So, the Pretty Pretty Prisoner one was funny. Um, it's always funny seeing him because, like, it's so awkward, but also just, just really great. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of, like, the War Salamander one, uh, that'd be OVA 2, where they're just, like, talking and fishing. It was, like, alright, because I love just, there's something about watching two old people chill. But overall, like, the the subplot of the War Salamander just wasn't that interesting. And as much as I like the idea of Moomin Rider, it wasn't my favorite implementation of him in the story and stuff like that. So, um, but it was still, like, it was, I mean, all of these were enjoyable enough. I'm just kind of, like, nitpicking, right? But... But yeah, I mean, I'm glad I did these. It, it was fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these as well. I don't really have much more to say. So I think we'll just end it here. And, you know, more One Punch Man content will be coming whenever Season 3 drops. And, and hopefully it will be done by a, you know, a studio that isn't just completely bogged down with work. And, and has to half-ass it. And we can get, you know, some of the Season 1 vibes back. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel and get more content in the process. The links are in the description or they should be popping up on the screen. I very much appreciate the support, even if you're just subscribing, even if you're just watching. I, I appreciate you guys being here, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.